and welcome to ukremedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky and today it'll be a MoGraph tutorial and basically I'll be showing you how to animate a text like this. And usually, you know, it's pretty simple to do, but today we're just going to go let me step through this. Basically, we're going to animate each letter slightly different and I'm going to select every other letter and I'll do something different to it. So, I'll show you how to have more control inside MoGraph uh, with with text. And by the way, this was created with few keyframes so it's very quick to do a uh, very useful tutorial I think you can learn from it uh, so let's dive in let's go into cinema 4d and inside here I'm just gonna uh, go to MoGraph and then do mo text uh, and uh, let me show you a cool technique I use sometimes when I have a lot of text so let's just drag this in here uh, and uh, this to change name here it's the same thing as doing it here so let's go to click here and then go to uh, basic properties and a name so basic properties name and then let's go into object and text so let's control drag duplicate this and delete this uh, we'll go object properties and text and so basically you just connect the two so whenever you change something in here it changes in, in here as well so let's type our text I'm gonna do ukramedia.com and I'll make it middle, okay, align it to middle and I'm gonna pick a little heavy font let's see what we can find here I'm gonna do condensed let's do Helvetica condensed I think this will work so uh, next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little uh, probably make it more thick let's go to caps, let's do a little fill it Okay, one second. All right, so let's insert some stuff here. You know, do whatever you usually do. This is good, but let's start. Um, let's start animating this a little bit. So, this is already a MoGraph. So now all you have to do is just go to MoGraph and Effector, and you can apply a step effector. It's a basic thing. You know, you can already push this up. Okay, so now we can go to fall, uh, fall off and in here we can go to a uh, thing called linear and basically the way it works, and by the way let's rotate it um, the other way, let's go 90 degrees so the way linear works is it just does it from left to right or you know it just does it one side unlike if you go to a step effect or fall off, if you do like a cube or box or something it only does it with a box, but linear just does it like a line almost you know like on the left it does one thing on the right it does the other so so let's do this let's uh, do fall off slightly longer and actually let's go to a different view uh, and let's animate this thing so we're gonna start from here go to position uh, control click to set a keyframe and then go about maybe I don't know 65 frames or so and get to the end of it and keyframe that as well so now we basically get this so you know uh, and uh, you can go to parameter now and change more things so I'm, I can I'm gonna put negative next to one that way it kinda reveals everything so that's cool um, let's say you wanted to do also slight rotation you can go and do you play with the rotation here? Let's say negative 90 or something. You can barely see it because of scale, but you see it. And you know, right now it's uh, rotating from the middle, like the middle here. Like, let's say if you wanted to rotate from the bottom, so you would go into text here and go to letters. And here's a pivot point so you can shift. Uh, so you can just bring it down. So now it's just gonna come from from the, from below. So this is cool. All right, so let's say I want U, R, and you know every other letter to do this kind of effect. And let's let's say let's hide this for it now, and then do make another one. And by the way, once just control click and drag to du duplicate the step effector. And I'm going to label this ro uh, rotation. And this one we're going to label position. And I'm going to I'm going to activate that, and I'm going to put it inside the text here are letters, I'm just going to drop it down below that uh, the, we already have rotation in there as you can see, so let's do position and I'm going to 
close I mean hide that for a second so right now let's do position so let's go to position and parameter let's turn the rotation off and then let's on the y-axis let's bring it up some maybe like 350 or something so that's cool that's what we want so how do we make the two how do we combine the two I mean you can activate both of them and you know and go to the text and activate both of them but you get like a just it, I mean it's still a cool look you can just leave it at that uh, it's a cool look and let's say you, you can bring also if you select this and go to a uh, delay you can play with this and uh, so go to effector bring it up to 70 and make it like a spring so then you get a cool little effect so I mean that's probably what you know if you want something like this that's cool but sometimes you want something interesting sometimes you just want a different so let's say I want to apply the rotation to one uh, you know a few letters and then position to other letters to do that if you hold uh, or select the uh, your uh, MoGraph text and and then go into a MoGraph and then right here it says MoGraph selection and basically the way it works uh, let me open up a new window for a second. Like just like you would do in a cube, you know, if you make it editable, uh, let's say you want to select this face and this face, and you want to apply a texture to this face. So you would go to selection and you know set selection. So it has a selection to it. And let's say if you have a texture, and you say, hey, I don't want to apply it to the whole cube. So now you go to this texture and under selection tag, you you know you just drop that in there, and it only applies to the faces you selected. So the same way it works in the in here with MoGraph. So let's say I'm going to select this text and go to MoGraph uh, selection and then you, you see this little uh, little dots here so if you hold shift and select them like every other one it's going to apply whatever effect to every other one and I created a little tag here so I'm going to la label this tag uh, rotation and then I'm going to control click and drag and to the side and to duplicate to duplicate that tag and I'm gonna label it position and in here go to tag I'm just gonna invert what I selected so it's gonna apply it to uh, you know the other one so basically we have one that's U R M and so on and this one is K A E and so on so now if we go to rotation and the selection tag here we're gonna say rotation you belong here it's going gonna, it's gonna to apply that effect only to our selection and then if you go to position and you do the same thing it will apply only to position so now if you play it it combines the two so really that's basically it the technique and uh, and uh, one few things you can probably do you can um, to make it more obvious I guess you can go to like position for instance and like maybe make it a little bit longer uh, so it's slightly offset or something uh, but other than that that's that's really it you can play around with uh, delay effector you know you can bring it up more <laughs> make it more crazy uh, I don't know why you would but anyway keep it under 70 years so yeah that's basically it so I guess next you would just create a texture Oh, by the way, if you have a render farm and you want to push this through render farm, you'll notice that you'll have some, uh, I don't know, problems with it because a lot of times delay effector, like each computer generates a different delay. So uh, then if you push it through render farm, you're going to have some issues. So what you need to do before you push it through, just go right click and go to MoGraph and then MoGraph cache and you just bake your animation. So now you can scroll you know through it and now it's baked so every computer will read the exact same thing and you'll get a better result through uh, render farm so just a quick tip uh, about that so anyway let's do a quick texture let's make it we already have let's apply our texture in here and then like open it up play with here uh, let's go f for now and let's do like an orange color or something like that I like orange uh, all right let's take this one a little bit to the red okay and let's like the specular let's do 
actually I'm not gonna play the mess with that let's do color let's do a little, like orange as well maybe like a little yellowish orange there you go that's good um, let's do a little reflection maybe like Fresnel ref reflection as well 20 and 20 so basically we got an interesting look let's light it real quick I'm not gonna use uh, mo um, global illumination for stuff like that you really don't need to do global illumination because a lot of times global illumination is uh, more for realism if anything so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do ambient occlusion where is it at there it is uh, let's do best So that's good. Let's bring some lights. I'm going to do some target lights. I'm going to zero everything down. And this is our front light. Let's spread it a little bit. Okay, maybe drop it down slightly. Um, and then we can do just control and click and just duplicate the other one just put one in the back maybe to the side to the side a little bit and maybe up I'll give it a little highlight up top and then duplicate it again maybe bring another one but this time just down and you can always grab the last the back two and uh, drop it to like maybe 50 so it's not as hot um, and then let's bring a camera in no as well I'm gonna hold alt let's do cameraman and let's zero everything down here let's look at our camera let's pull out on the z-axis let's level this So you have like a quick shot. Oh, actually, let's do. We're gonna do HD here. So let's do a uh, video, and then go to. Um, yeah, let's do full HD. So now you have a HD kind of look, and you can import some. You know, any kind, if you want to do any kind of reflection, um, you know, do HDRI, but. But just tell it to be uh, reflection instead of um, like for instance. Let's go to content browser. I already have the HDRI right here, so let's bring it in and we can just copy it from uh, luminance and turn it off and go to like color and say paste. And now you can bring in a sky and just oops. Let's go to layers. Drop it on top of here. Do a little compositing tag. Turn the scene by camera off. I don't want any shadows, none of that. Global illumination, don't need it. So I just want to see it by reflection. Refraction, we don't need that stuff. So you probably won't be able to tell. Or maybe like slight highlight, you can tell slightly reflection. But it's probably too much. Way too much. So you can go into your texture. Um, actually blur it out some. Bring it to maybe down to 12. Sometimes it can give you a little interesting look, um, just not as boring. That's good enough, and then you can see what it would look like when it's animating. So yeah, uh, play with these things. Uh, it's a little too hot still. But anyway, just play with these options. Keep in mind, you don't have to do global illumination all the time, especially if you don't have a render farm. Uh, just basically this tutorial is just a technique how to play with uh, MoGraph text. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Uh, be sure to render this out and you know set do all your settings and uh, uh, finish it up in After Effects. But yeah, this is basically a technique how to do this in with MoGraph how to how to do uh, different you know effect different letters uh, with uh, MoGraph text and we we used a uh, I guess an effector called, well not an effector, a uh, MoGraph selection to choose something like that. So I hope you found it useful. Uh, be sure to come back next time. Uh, my name is Sergey and thanks a lot.